Thanks for tuning in to Mountain High Hockey. Okay, last week we worked on warming up our hips and using our inside edge to get around the puck and work on our edges. Today, I'm gonna work you through a series of edge drills that we can do to work on our balance, our coordination, and our edge work before practice starts, or even if we're on a public session, we can do these drills and it's gonna make us better hockey players. All right, to become better hockey players and better skaters, we have to be comfortable on our edges. But before we can get on our inside and outside edge, we have to be comfortable on our blades. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get in the middle of our blades, we're gonna bend our knees, we're gonna get our knees over our toes, and we're gonna do a drill that just isolates the lower half of our body. We're gonna try and stay in the middle of our edges, and we're gonna try and move our feet as fast as we can with our feet together, almost like a rudder on a boat. Now remember, you're not gonna be going as fast as you can because we're not digging in and using our edges. This is a drill to warm up our hips, to warm up our knees, and more importantly, to warm up our ankles. And make sure our knees are always over our toes and we're in that ready position. You can keep your head up, obviously that's important, but we wanna make sure that our feet are together and we're working on our boots. So now that we've practiced being on the middle of our blades and getting comfortable on our skates, now we're gonna do one where we're on the inside and outside edge of our skates. We're gonna do the same thing, we're gonna take one push, we're gonna have our feet together, but now we're gonna slalom like we're skiing. We're gonna have our boots touching, and we're gonna use our inside edge and our outside edge evenly. We wanna use one hand on our stick when we're doing all of these drills, because if we have two hands, we get the tendency to lean on that stick. And these are skating exercises. So we wanna make sure our stick's out in front of us, it's not going to the side, but we're not relying on it when it comes to using our feet. So all these edge drills that we're doing, we start with two feet, our feet together, and then we progress into doing one foot at a time. Now, we can make these drills easier or more challenging by seeing how long we can hold it and the speed that we can pick up. We can also challenge ourselves by making sure that we stay low the whole time, our knees are over our toes, and making sure that our upper body is completely still. Now just remember, you can work on your shot off the ice, but you can't work on your edges. So when you're on that ice, let's make sure we're using it to become better skaters, have more balance, more agility, and be really comfortable on our skates. We're gonna get the same angle laying. Now can we come back? Remember, the only time that inside skate is touching the ice is when we're pushing for a nice powerful stride. Knees are over our toes, and let's make sure our top hand is always down as low as we can to make sure we get that proper knee bend. 